We're back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. I truly did not realize that we were celebrating young girls on today's show, but that's kind of how it worked out. And uh, some folks from Gwen's Girls are here, and I had all this information right in front of me. Of course, what I do, I messed it all up. But Kathy Elliott is the executive director of Gwen's Girls. Tony Silva Jeter is the board president yes. of Gwen's Girls, what? and Andrea Johnson is the research director. Joseph. 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 What do I call you? Johnson. Johnson. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Andrea Johnson. Welcome to you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Kathy, I'm going to start with you. This is, you're celebrating 15 years. Yes, we are. Talk to me about that because that's awesome. Yes, it is. It's exciting to be in existence for 15 years. Mm -hmm. As the viewers may know, Gwen's Girls was founded by my mother, the late Commander Gwen Elliott, and I've been blessed and fortunate to be able to continue her legacy. I've been the executive director for two years. And over the past 15 years, we have grown to provide services that um, will help our girls be productive and to empower them to lead healthy lives. Mm -hmm. We have after school programming. We've actually expanded it to four program sites throughout the county. Wow. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. on the north side is our main site. We have another site in the east end of Pittsburgh at the Lincoln Park Community Center. And then we have another site that we recently opened at Penn Hills High School. And then last but surely not least, our Claritin site. Wow, that's <laughs> awesome. So, Tony, when we talk about 15 years, have the needs of our young girls changed in that 15 years? Yes, I believe so. Mm -hmm. um, I think that um, Gwen's Girls is moving um, the needle relative to the uh, inequities mm. and so forth with the uh, young girls. I think that, I mean, you know, back in 2002 when her mother started it, she did know about the injustices and inequities and mm -hmm. that's why Gwen's Girls is here. But, you know, we still have a lot of the same problems mm. with the uh, criminal justice system and with our girls. And that's why it is so important, the work is so important that Gwen's Girls completes mm -hmm. because um, they definitely need the assistance mm -hmm. to be productive members of society and the programs and the services that they provide are so needed. So Andrea Joseph, yes. talk to me a little bit about the programs. Like I know a couple weeks ago I saw some of the Gwen's girls at the Misty Copeland event um, and these are the kind of experiences and exposures these girls are getting. Right, so I think it's really important for young girls to be able to see um, positive images of themselves, mm. to see what success looks like, to see and hear from um, Misty what her trajectory was like, um, maybe what her self-doubt was at some point and how did she overcome that. And so it was really great um, when Kathy described um, getting the opportunity to bring the girls there um, because we knew that it was a very unique experience to have that here at Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. And so I think we we're really fortunate to have seats to bring the girls to here <laughs> firsthand. Now, I'm just curious because I was blown away by her. What did the girls think? Well, I think Kathy could speak a bit more. Okay. Yeah, they were excited. We actually read her book over the summer. Oh, okay. Yeah, Which so, one? Um, the first one, the okay. one about, and I, I'm sorry, I blank on the title. I say that like I know her. all of them. I know, <laughs> I know the one about eating and exercising. No, that's okay. her newest one. So the okay. first one that actually talked about um, her being in the, um, uh, foster care system oh, okay. and, oh, yeah, and so as a young girl and some of the trials and tribulations that she actually experienced and she found refuge in ballet okay. and, and a mentor who ended up um, being that person that um, you know made her um, expose her to ballet to and, the world of ballet yeah. so they found yeah. a connection with that yes all right let's talk about what's going to happen on the 19th so the 19th is our celebration. We are first recognizing um, some phenomenal women throughout the county that have contributed to the work of women and girls. Um, just um, have been um, awesome advocates and volunteers in our organization, but not just for Gwen's Girls, but um, girls throughout our region. And then uh, we also will be recognizing three of our um, staff members that have been with us um, since the inception of Gwen's Girls. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are excited about that. And then we'll be kicking off our um, summit, equity summit, that's going to be the following day on the 20th. And okay. so we're excited about that. Okay, now can one of them talk about the equity summit? So, who would that be? Andrea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so the Equity <laughs> Summit is an opportunity for us to, to see and think about uh, the way that girls are represented throughout uh, various systems within our community. So for instance, the juvenile justice system, the overrepresentation of girls there, specifically black girls. We're looking at the edu educational disparities, um, the uh, high, uh, the disproportionate rate of suspension of black girls. We know that they're uh, three times as likely to be suspended within Pittsburgh Public Schools than perhaps their white female counterparts. And so it's an opportunity to bring together policymakers, um, practitioners, um, concerned citizens, um, researchers, and to collaborate and think from an intersectional perspective on how we can address this to move girls forward, to empower them, to empower practitioners and researchers to make sure that we have the best practices to help girls. Wow, are you presenting? I could listen to you talk <laughs> on that <laughs> for a long time. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> so Tony, then a lot of these issues that we're talking about though, if you guys weren't bringing them to the forefront, nobody would be talking about this, am I right? Uh, you're correct. Okay. And that's why, again, uh, Gwen Skrulls and the work that Dr. Elliott and her staff are doing really makes a difference and really is instrumental in um, moving these girls to the pathway to success. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let me just add, this is a continuation of the um, summit that we had last, last year. year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so last year was all about the resiliency of girls and just um, it focused on the individual girl. But once we started looking at the research and the data and the report that came out, the inequities of black girls in Allegheny County, it's apparent that it's not just the individual girl that has the issue. It's our system. Mm. It's that implicit racial bias that exists within our systems. And we have been fortunate here in Allegheny County that the administrators from these various systems have taken a look themselves and have shared their data and said, we will join you in this conversation and help us to understand how we can do better collectively mm -hmm. because each yes. of them have been trying to do um, have initiatives um, individually yes. yeah. and that's just even as practitioners mm -hmm. we've done the same thing there's a lot of silo there's good great things that are going on across the county but we are each in our own separate Gotta worlds and not together. coming together so last year we had over 50 um, practitioners and people from the different um, organizations and systems that have continued the conversation throughout the year with with us oh, awesome. and so and if we form the black girls equity alliance and so through that we are having this conversation around systemic bias terrific okay so Thursday is the dinner yes and then Friday is the is the full day, day long seminar yes now is it too late for people to register can they still register no, they can still go to our website at www.gwensgirls.org we're also on Eventbrite you can you know put our name in there and they can pull that up as well and they can get tickets perfect yes. so that's perfect so you're watching this over the weekend mm -hmm. the events coming up Thursday Friday take care of that <laughs> ladies thanks so much for joining us today we're gonna take a commercial break when we come back Harry Belafonte no he's not here <laughs> but he's coming we'll tell you all about that next when the Lynn Hayes Freeland show continues